You already know I'm in all things sports and entertainment. So UNLV quarterback Matthew Saluka was and uh, I'm looking at this article on Bleach Report, was reportedly verbally offered $100,000 by an assistant coach to transfer from Holy Cross, but UNLV showed no effort to finalize the contract per Pete uh, Tamil. Now, mind you, <laughs> they're a ranked team. They're 3-0, and and, and um, I, it might be three or four games before you got a red shirt, but Saluka stepped down basically and said he's going to red shirt this year and uh, keep his options open. Seen a lot of people mad about it. Y'all know just a couple years ago, you couldn't even do nothing like this. Um, you couldn't get money. You couldn't sit out. Or if you had a transfer, you had to sit out for a year, even though your coaches could leave. And a lot of people like Nick Saban and Mike Krzyzewski of Duke basketball, you see them stepping down because, I mean, they just they can't handle it. So I've seen Jason Whitlock and a couple other people mad about it. Now, let me let me be honest. Is, it, is the NCAA complete anarchy at this point? Yeah, it is. Do I think that players should be able to transfer four and five times? No, I think there, do, I think there should be some type of parameters on it. You know, if your coach stepped down or your coordinator leave, then yeah, you should be able to leave because, you know, they'll lie to you and say they're going to be there and then they there for a year and they gone. Like I remember, um, was it Chip Kelly played, was a coach at Cincinnati. I knew somebody who played there the year they went up against, uh, I think it was Florida and Florida demolished them. But Chip Kelly, he left before the season was over. See, coaches can do that, but... And don't nobody say nothing to them, but when players do it, it's a problem. Now, again, a lot of these players are are, are in spoiled and entitled, and I believe that players should maximize their dollar value. And if this is true, if y'all offered him 100000 and only came up with about three grand or however much of it, then yeah, he should be able to leave. But no, there has to be some type of parameters around here with these college players, man. There used to be loyalty. Like, when you went to a game, it was loyalty. Like, you've seen players stay, for the most part, majority of players stay three or four years. Now, now you just you just don't even you don't even know anymore you know what i'm saying so it's like whoa and then you know other coaches are probably going to like the the mid majors or the georgia states or kennesaw states and say if a player commits there then they're like oh man well well come to uga man we'll give you four hundred thousand. so it's like it's it's college has really it's got it's really kind of worse than the pros right now you know what i mean so they're going to have to put some type of parameters around it. But again, at the same time, if y'all promises me $100,000 and he only got three grand, then I will probably leave too. And this is Vegas. Y'all can't come up with that money. This is Las Vegas. Y'all need to partner up with MGM and, and, and all these other big time casino slash hotels down there, you know, and, and, and start getting your funding up. But and uh, I think another player did it from... Um, UNLV and I know somebody else did it from USC this year like he played a handful of games and said that he's red shirting but prior to a couple of years ago if you play one snap you you wasn't allowed to red shirt or if you that that season you had to play it out but yeah this is why people like Mike Krzyzewski them stepping down but then you know like I like I, let me say this about the coaches it ain't no fun now that the rabbit has the gun because a lot of y'all was just le up and leaving schools and y'all didn't build all these programs but now the players can do it and now y'all whining and crying so the ncaa definitely has to put parameters around it but then it also needs to be parameters around with the coaching as well or just throw the ncaa out because it's kind of a farce now at this point and you know just whatever man you know just independent you know big 10 they got their own league sec got their own league the Pac-12 got their own league. The ACC got their own league. And then they just play whenever they play. But yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.